Full effort. It's Archer 3. Archer 3 okay. and flying to London Gatwick from Amsterdam. And we are now in Schiphol. It's a 7 in the morning flight. So, <laughs> woke up early. Well, I think I didn't have enough sleep, but uh, excited, excited to go to the to London. So join us on this travel and uh, we'll bring you together with us to our journey this long weekend. Started Friday and we'll be coming back on Monday. We'll see more nice places in England. So stay put, join us. That will be going to... Early morning. Still already busy here in Skipo. Long weekend! And eventually uh, everything has been easy now because they opened the electronic gate uh, electronic gate even have a library area here in Skipo I'm gonna kill time long waiting stay here read books right over there In the airport, and now uh, we're going to pick up our uh, rental car. Uh, we're supposed to go to South Terminal in bus one, uh, bus uh, stop uh, platform one, and from there there will be a car rental pickup right over there. Car rental pickup for us, bring us to because uh, we rented in gold car, and there we're going to have our. Terminal and we are going to the bus stop number. It's not really in the airport itself, so that's why it, it's a budget rental. So yeah, you rent for less, but a little bit of inconvenience, but we should be fine. Pastry, chicken mushroom, yeah, it's an old traditional pie. Stonehenge uh, on the way to well just came in went to the museum and now we're going to the Stonehenge itself to see those works so what can you say it's very historic no it's uh, how old it is 2000 BC I think 3000 BC even longer older 3000 BC the same time as the uh, you know the pyramid of Egypt has also been built. But can you imagine how how they uh, move all those stones all the way from Wales 
it's really amazing. I mean, it's really historical. Historic. That's how the houses looks like before, during those times. And uh, there you can see, during the period of Stonehenge, around 3000 BC before Christ. And this is how they transport all those stones and form it in the current formation right now. Because they believe that these stones are uh, these stones originated from Wales, which is miles of miles away from from England, from this place. And just imagine how they transport this all the way to the wait. maganda rito late on na sa na view kapag yung sa pasanser di ba it's a really nice view over there would you recommend them to go here yeah. in Stonehenge when they are in England yeah yeah I like it no, I mean, the entrance is expensive though. like how much the entrance is it's 21 euros mahal di ba euros or pounds 21 pounds ang mahal <laughs> Magkano na yun sa Pinas? <laughs> But it's really worth it. Huh? Oh, Kasi it's very... It's I mean, worth it because of the, the nature, right? Yeah. I want it to be nice. Can you imagine, yeah. can you imagine yeah. all of these people are paying like... Yeah. Yeah. your second time and so far so good Ikaw, your second time as well well the first time that we came here uh, we were kind of too late because the Sun has already set and uh, was completely dark but now make sure that when we come here it's gonna be the golden hour so it's the perfect place to look at the view over there. So nice see. We're going down over there. Now this is the golden hour. Good for pictures. Drone shots. Ah, amazing. So uh, guys, if one tip, if you are going to Stonehenge after those BC tour of Stonehenge and you have your own car. What you're going to do is just drive like an hour and maybe a half or an hour, 20 minutes, all the way here to uh, what's the place? Lulworth in Dordordol. I think it's really a good place to see. You should be coming here. There's so many people here. Comes like have a caravan, stay here for about a few days, like three days to four, enjoy, especially this summer season because uh, good weather perfect view it's all nature water sea mountains cliff ah, can you ask for right
really nice. It's one of my favorite place here in England. So uh, I really recommend you to go here. It's so relaxed. Many people stay here for a week. I think it's next time I go, uh, I go here, spend it maybe three days. You know, just doing nothing. Relaxing, sitting down, watching the waves, watching waiting for the sun to set. And yeah, exactly. It's, I, I have no words to say to describe what I'm seeing right now in Dordorf. So it's. And it's free, huh? No entrance. Well, it's. You don't have to pay. Uh, you don't have to pay for the entrance, but you just have to pay for the parking, yeah, which costs uh, for about four pounds or two hours. But that four pounds and two hours, it's all worth it.